My boyfriend of eight years cheated on me with his best friend's fiance and is now begging me for a second chance. I still love him but I don't know what to do. For some background, I, 28 female, met my boyfriend, 28 male, in college when we had a class together. He was struggling because of his party lifestyle but me, being a studious introvert, was thriving. He begged me to help him and I relented eventually. I hated his guts but, for some reason, he made me fall in love with him. He was such an open book too, and waited patiently for me. I didn't let him kiss me until four months into dating and didn't sleep with him till our one year anniversary. He was my first and I really wanted to be sure I was giving myself to someone who truly loved me. I didn't ask him to but he slowly gave up partying and drinking for me, and we both found a new friend group in college who we've maintained to this day. He gave up everything willingly, because he said he'd rather spend time at home with me. The one thing from his past that he didn't give up though was his childhood best friend who will call Max. Max always hated me. I think he blames me that he sees my boyfriend only a few times a month and that he isn't fun anymore. He also openly questions our relationship in front of both of us and says stuff like, you'll come to your senses eventually, when talking to my boyfriend. I told him I wasn't comfortable so since then, he never let Max around me but they still hung out and I really didn't mind because I trusted him. Okay so this is what happened recently. Max got engaged to his long-term on again off again girlfriend and invited both of us over to celebrate. It would have been just the four of us. I declined, which, in retrospect, was a big mistake. My boyfriend offered to stay with me but I told him he didn't need to and I'd understand if he wanted to support Max even though I despised the guy. Again. This was a mistake in retrospect. The next morning my boyfriend came home crying, we are living together. He was still clearly hungover so I bathed him and put him to bed. When he woke up a few hours later, he told me everything. Apparently, he got really really drunk at the party. Max's fiancé, who I guess I'll call the homewrecker, was very flirty with him the whole night and took care of him when he passed out. The next thing my boyfriend says he remembers was when he woke up, homewrecker was down on him while he was exposed. He says he was too drunk and just went along with it while Max watched. According to my boyfriend, they're into the whole hot wife thing whatever that means. The next thing my boyfriend says he remembers was waking up exposed next to homewrecker with a bunch of used protection around them. He rushed home after that, my heart is breaking right now guys and I really don't know what to do. He's been begging me for a second chance, even showing me he blocked Max and homewrecker on everything. He promised never to contact them again. He also swears to not drink when I'm not around anymore and that he'd keep his phone unlocked and I can look through it whenever I wanted no questions asked. He kept telling me how much he regrets it and how much he loves me and that I'm the only one. The sad thing is. I believe him. This man was my first everything and I feel like my world is just crumbling around me. A few weeks ago, we were thinking about getting married and how many kids we wanted. Now? I can't even look at him without my heart breaking in two. This all happened a few days ago and I've barely left the room. He's giving me space but he's also doing the little things that make me fall for him again. He keeps the house clean, he's been cooking me the food I like and leaving short love notes beside it on the dinner table. I'm lost right now. I so desperately want to forgive him but every time I look at him, I can't shake off the image of him being with another woman. I know I was never his first but he kept promising me I was going to be his last and he broke it. Despite everything though, deep down I still love him. Guys, I don't know where to go from here. I'm crying just typing this out but I don't have anyone to talk to about this. Usually, when problems this big come up in my life, he's the one I turn to for help. I love him but I don't know if I can trust him anymore. What should I do? Will couples counseling help? Should I just cut my losses and end it? He seems very very remorseful and he did confess to the whole thing immediately after. Should I give him a chance? Sorry for the long rant. I'm just lost right now. Update 3 days later. A lot has happened in the last few days, so where do I begin? Well I think some of you would be delighted to know that he left me for not being supportive. Sucks to be me I guess. I guess you guys were right, I am a sucky girlfriend. He's now off to be with his brand new supportive girlfriend. Just kidding but some of you would have wanted that to happen, right? So here's what really happened. After reading some of your comments, I started to see things from a different perspective. I never really thought of it as anything other than cheating, and it didn't help that when he came home to me that morning he claimed to have cheated on me and I guess my mind just started going to a dark place where logic goes out of the window. It's definitely not an excuse but I really wasn't in the right mindset after he said he cheated. I guess it was after the realization that this man would never willingly hurt me is when all the anger and pain of being cheated on was washed away. I couldn't really bring myself to talk to him at first. He was on the couch blankly staring at whatever was on TV. He looked. Empty. I sat beside him and told him I had no intentions of breaking up. Well, he came to life almost instantly and before I knew it, his arms were wrapped around me. He was shaking and I could tell he was crying. I was too. Remember when I said I felt my world was crumbling around me? Well for the first time in what seemed like forever, I could feel it starting to fall back into place. I didn't realize how much a simple embrace can be so calming. Everything was starting to feel right again. Then we talked. He apologized again for cheating and when I told him I didn't think he cheated, he had a puzzled look on his face. I asked him if he gave consent and he said no. I tried to explain, I guess he still doesn't realize that he was actually taken advantage of. 
He said the first thing that came to mind after what happened was that he cheated and was so afraid of losing me. This man, after being essayed, first thought of how much he betrayed me instead of how he was betrayed himself. I was floored. He said his first response had to be to win me back, which is why he's been going the extra mile the last few days taking care of me from a distance. When it was my turn to speak, I told him how sorry I was for not being supportive. I jumped to conclusions without actually thinking about it clearly, which was pretty out of character for me. A few more exchanges after that and the conversation shifted to Max and Homewrecker. I told him that I never wanted him anywhere near Max or her again and he agreed. I've always thought he was a bad influence but I never thought he'd take it this far so I never stopped him from seeing his, ex, best friend. He showed me his phone which didn't have a lock anymore. He said he blocked both of them on everything but wanted to keep the open phone policy. He said it so I can be sure he isn't back in touch with Max. I urged him to file a police report but he was against it. He said that even if he was essayed, he couldn't bring himself to do it. I didn't really know about it at first but his family and Max's family had a very long history of friendship. Their moms were college best friends and their dads worked together. Not only were the two of them close, even their families were close. I thought they were just neighbors but it was more than that. I didn't know because every time I visit his family, the topic was never brought up, and I haven't really met any of Max's family, except for his little sister who came by to play with my boyfriend's little brother. He said he didn't want to ruin decades of friendship and would be content with just going no contact with Max. He's getting tested later today and I hope that Homewrecker didn't give my man anything. I'm also pretty confident my boyfriend didn't get Homewrecker pregnant because Max absolutely hates children so I'd imagine Homewrecker would be on birth control given how many dudes she sleeps with. My boyfriend and I came to the conclusion that Max most likely set the whole thing up to break us apart so he can have his best friend back. They used to be partners in crime after all, when it came to parties and picking up women. I would like to point out that I did not force him to change. He himself chose to do so but I know he did it for me, which just makes me fall in love with him even more. When we first met he was still the playboy party animal he was, but he told me after hanging out with me for a few weeks that he didn't really feel like sleeping around anymore. I didn't really believe him at first, obviously. I've also noticed that a few people were bashing me for making him wait one year for lovemaking. I'm sorry, I just have different views. I believe that lovemaking is for people who love each other, so I wasn't willing to sleep with anyone I wasn't deeply in love with and didn't love me back. I don't judge people who sleep around. My boyfriend has a high body count but I don't really hold it against him but back then, I just wanted to be sure I wasn't just a girl he bangs or a conquest but someone who he actually loves and sees a future with. Considering his past, I was very skeptical for a while and I had my walls up the entire time but he slowly tore them apart and I'm glad he did. That reluctant yes when he first asked me out was and still is one of the best decisions I've ever made. Max's plan had the opposite effect. It's rough now but I can see this experience making our relationship even stronger. I love him more than ever believe it or not and I'm sure he feels the same way. The last few days have taught us both how crappy our lives would be without the other. I guess it made us value each other more? Not that either of us took the other for granted. And yes, we are both getting therapy. Both individually and as a couple. To be honest, I'm still shaken over the whole thing. Even when we cuddle, I can still imagine Homewrecker having her way with him and I can't help but cry about it. If I'm still shaken up by the whole thing, I can only imagine how much worse it is for him but I'll be there for him every step of the way. I know he didn't cheat. I know he won't break my heart. I know that he loves me. I know that I love him. It's hard right now but knowing those facts makes me confident we can see this through. One Redditor pointed out that we were soulmates and I like to think that we are. I can't see myself being with anyone but him. Thanks again for all your advice and for making me see things differently.